I'm Andrew Joseph Keith. I'm an artist and sculptor. And in this video, I'm going to show you my method for building a simple turntable with supplies that are not too expensive. So this turntable is built on top of a metal stool. The first version that I made of this was a recycled white round metal stool. The ones I'm showing in this video I purchased from eBay and I got four of them for I think 130 bucks or something like that. These metal stools are 32 inches tall. So if you can find it secondhand, that's the cheapest way to get these types of stools. So how this tool works is there's two pieces of metal piping and a floor flange on each side. And so the pipes can fit into each other. There's a larger pipe on the stool, a smaller pipe that's attached to the table part, and then those fit within each other. As far as supplies, I have a one inch galvanized metal pipe. The one I have is six inches long, but depending on how tall you want your sculpting table, this can be between four and 10 inches tall. I also have a three quarter inch galvanized metal pipe. This one is eight inches long. If the three quarter inch pipe doesn't fit perfectly into the one inch pipe, you can use a file to file down the inside of the one inch pipe so that if there's any pieces of metal that are keeping them from fitting inside of each other, that you can remove those and then they should fit pretty snug inside of one another. I have a metal floor flange for each of those, a one inch metal floor flange and a three quarters inch metal floor flange, a piece of plywood board that I've stained black that's eight inches by eight inches, some number eight three quarter inch screws, and another plywood board that's a little bit larger. This one's 16 inches by 16 inches, and that'll be the table part of this sculpting stand. The first thing I'll want to do is drill a hole in the smaller board in case the three quarter inch pipe is too large compared to the one inch pipe. And then we'll want to have a hole so that it can fit down inside through that eight inch by eight inch plywood board. So I drilled a hole in the center of that smaller board. And these stools conveniently have a hole on the top of them so that if you have a longer piece of the three quarter inch pipe, it can fit down inside of that hole. Then I'll align it on the center of the stool and tape it down. Then I'll turn it upside down so that I can drill some holes and screw this board into place. Now I can remove the tape and that's pretty secure in place. Now I'm gonna screw the floor flange into place on that black plywood board. Once we've attached the board onto the stool and then the floor flange onto the board, we can screw the one inch metal pipe into place. And this is what it should look like. Now I can take that larger 16 by 16 inch plywood board and I've stained it brown on one side and then added some polyurethane finish just so that it looks nice. And we're gonna measure out the center line for this one too using a ruler from corner to corner to make sure that that floor flange is put exactly in the center. We're gonna put this floor flange on the bottom of that table on the unstained part and screw that into place making sure that those screws are nice and snug. And this is what it should look like. Now we can screw that three quarter inch pipe into place. We wanna make sure that both the pipe that's on top of the stool, as well as the pipe that's underneath the top of the table, that they're screwed very tightly into place because if they get loose and start unwinding, then you can have your sculpture fall off of the table. So make sure that you screw both of those pipes into place very firmly. And that's what the top part of the table should look like. And if you've done it right, you can just slide those into place. And there we have our turntable. And I made several of these. There is a little bit of wiggle room with a three quarter inch pipe inside of the one inch pipe, but that doesn't bother me too much. It's pretty sturdy, pretty stable. And I haven't had a problem with it not being able to hold the weight of the sculptures that I've been using. And I've done some pretty large sculptures on top of these types of tables. Here's some modifications that I've made to this table stand. This one's my favorite one and it's the first one that I built and I really like this one. So let me show you some ways that I modified it. The first thing I did was I started off with a round stool. I haven't been able to find these round stools anymore. So I don't know if they're available, but you might be able to find them secondhand. I like this a little bit better than the black squared off stools that I have because those squared off stools don't have as much surface area on the top of the stool. Then instead of a square board on top of the stool, I have an octagon shaped board that I've sealed with some polyurethane. And then because I wanted a little bit more table space, 
I've used two C-clamps to tighten another plywood board off to the side of this table. And so I can remove this by simply loosening the C-clamps and then taking it off. Then underneath, I also have another thinner plywood board. And then on this board, I just cut out some grooves so that it would fit better in this area. And that just gives me some additional space for storage. And then the last thing that I've done is I've made a little moving table. And this has little metal brackets on each end. And this is so that the table can sit with each of the legs of the table inside of these metal brackets so it won't slide off. And this allows me to slide the table around and have it be a little bit more mobile. And to build this, I got some three inch swivel caster with brake wheels that I got at Harbor Freight. So these have a nice function where they can lock in place the, so that the wheels won't turn. And then they also swivel. And then I just screwed them in place on the bottom of a plywood board that's also 16 inches by 16 inches, though you could go a little bit larger, uh, would probably be a little bit better. And then I just screwed in place some of these metal brackets that I got from Home Depot that just go on corners. And that keeps the feet of the stool from sliding off. And then I can just place that table on top and then this can now move around. You do have to be careful because it's not attached to the movable base that you don't tip it over. Just be careful as you're moving it. But I haven't had an issue with it falling over. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe to the channel. You might like this video where I go over my method for building a stop motion puppet for materials you can usually find at the dollar store. I thought it was pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Stay productive, stay creative. I'll see you around.